Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm going to show you a line of prefab homes that could very well set the next big trend. The prefab home industry has kept me on my toes for over three years now as it evolves, adjusts, and grows, and let me tell you, it's been fascinating to watch. First impressions are half the battle with a lot of companies trying to attract consumers, and I recently came across one that have hit it out of the park. There's a seemingly endless supply of prefab home eye candy in the market right now, with more being announced all the time, but what I've got today are some of the finest looking homes to date. Obviously there are more important factors in construction than the pomp and frills of an exterior, but that doesn't mean it can be ignored because I don't know too many people lining up to buy something that looks like a burnt turd. The company I'm talking about is called Fox Modular with their line of fantastic looking prefab homes that are available now. What I'm going to do is tell you about the company, check out their homes, and let you know where they're available. There are a lot of new prefab home companies entering the space, and this is not one of them. Fox Modular has been in the off-site construction space for over a decade designing and building the highest quality modular buildings. Their website says our innovative designs, efficiency, and attention to detail sets us apart from the rest. At Fox Modular, we're proud to build outside the box and do things differently. At first, I thought Fox Modular was an overnight success, hitting a grand slam at their first at bat because I hadn't heard about them until recently. But turns out, they've spent years designing the homes we're looking at today, which does make a bit more sense. It says over the years we've continued to evolve to meet the changing needs of technology and innovation, always looking to offer our customers the highest value for money. Today, our team is growing stronger than ever, backed by proven processes and purpose-built facilities. I don't know of a single company that enters the prefab home space with a purpose-built facility. That takes some time. Most build out of an existing space to prove out their concept, outgrow it if their concept is well received, and eventually maybe get to a place where they can purpose build a facility. When a company gets to that point, I think efficiency reaches another level because the building is the exact size and shape they want with everything where it needs to be to build in the most efficient way. Right now, they've got three factories with a total of over 400,000 square feet in Western Australia. And if you want to get one of their homes, they've broken the process down in into seven steps. Step one is discover, step two is design, step three is approvals, step four is construction, step five is transport, step six is installation, and finally step seven is move on in. An interesting option offered by Fox is the ability for the buyer to take on one of the steps under the Fox build client install protocol. In this case, the process gets cut back to six steps instead of seven because the buyer looks after the install. I personally wouldn't take on that step myself because it's a doozy and I don't have the skills necessary to do it. It would take me like three, four years. It is also possible to select client install, then hire contractors to do the work if you've got skilled people in your network. So it's kind of nice to have a couple different options and the ability to save a bit of cheddar. Again, none of it really matters if they're building homes that nobody wants. So let's see what all they got going on here. Spoiler alert, these are the opposite of burnt turds. So unchewed food that's appetizing. I guess. Fox Modular has what I think are some of the best looking modular homes currently available. Their designs have won awards and they credit their innovation, efficiency, and attention to detail as the factors that set them apart from the rest. Their models range in size from about 700 square feet up to 2,000 square feet and I had a time deciding which ones to feature because they've all got something going on. Maybe it's just me. Decide for yourself. The smallest option currently being offered is a 700 square foot home called the Monaco. The description says the perfect two bedroom home. The Monaco takes advantage of every available square meter. Whether you're building a holiday home, downsizing, or searching for your first home, the Monaco has it all. According to the specs, the home comes standard with the designer front facade, which looks sweet. I am always in full support of dark siding trim and windows against a wood accent. Add in the extended eave on all four sides and you've got a look that really slaps with the Monaco. Inside the front door, they've got a coat closet, which is definitely one of life's simple pleasures that's lacking on a lot of floor plans and seems to get people quite excited. It has a bedroom on either end, lots of windows for natural light, and even a sliding glass door out of the main bedroom. Long story short, I like it. The second home in their model line that I think needs to get a bit of attention is the Chris Hemsworth. It's actually just called the Hemsworth, but I do wonder if it's a tribute to the actor because he is an Aussie after all and the homes are built in Australia. 
I don't know, it's possible. The description says the award-winning Hemsworth is breaking the mold of traditional modular design and is the perfect fit for anyone looking for something different. This ultra-modern modular home works for so many different families and lifestyles, yada, yada, yada. The Hemsworth has plenty of space to gather and entertain, as well as space to retreat. Newsflash, if you haven't noticed, this is a very cool looking home. The ultra modern exterior combines different roof lines, materials, and windows that just work so well together. Inside, the Hemsworth has three bedrooms and two bathrooms in a layout that separates out the living space from the rest of the home. One half of the home is pretty much wide open with the living room, kitchen, and dining room in that order with a wall of windows on either end. The other half of the home has the bedrooms, bathrooms, a laundry room, and an entrance. I like how the entrance to the main bedroom suite is separate from the access to the other bedrooms just for a little bit of separation. They currently have this home on display at one of the locations for those in the area who want to see it in person. Last but not least, another absolute banger from Fox Modular and arguably one of my favorite designs of all time is their Cardinet. The description says one look at the Cardinet is all it will take to fall in love. Featuring a unique H-shaped design, the central kitchen, dining, and living area is the highlight of the home with plenty of floor-to-ceiling windows allowing the the sunlight to pour in. There is a lot going on in this plan that makes it unique. First things first, one entire wing could be set up as the owner's suite. It has a bedroom, ensuite, walk-in closet, office, and den. Give me a mini fridge and a microwave to warm up some chubby chicken and I'd never have to leave that one section of the house. The middle section, as noted in the description, has the entrance, dining room, kitchen, and living room. The perfect spot to entertain or shut in and watch Wayne's World 2. On the other side of the home, they've got three three bedrooms and a bathroom, so four bedrooms total, making it an option for the big family. The total footprint of the Cardinet works out to a whopping 1,970 square feet. I've never been to Australia, but if I ever find myself down under, you best believe I'll be popping in to check out a few of these things in person. As I mentioned, I like the look of pretty much their entire line, so honorable mentions go out to the Berlin, a two bedroom, one bathroom home at 753 square feet, the Breeze House, a three bedroom, two bathroom home at 1,250 square feet. This is one of the cooler looking homes they have in their lineup and just missed the main part of the video. I've always liked the look of this style of home. They've got the Clifton Hills, a four bedroom, two bathroom home at 1,250 square feet. The Davenport, a five bedroom, two bathroom home with a footprint of 2,100 square feet. A 1,300 square foot, four bedroom, two bathroom home called the El Questro. A 1,450 square foot, three bedroom, two bathroom home called the Foxy. Good name alert, how are ya? They've got a 1,400 square foot, three bedroom, two bathroom with a great exterior called the Free to Roam, a 976 square foot, two bedroom, one bath called the Helsinki, a 2,000 square foot, four bedroom, two bathroom called Hillside Harmony. I really like the look of this one. Finally, they've got the McPherson, Point Peak and the Shore House. Usually this is the point in the video where I get into their pricing, but nothing available online, so for now it's a hurry up and wait situation as I slide into their DMs. Fox Modular is an Australia-based award-winning prefab home builder with some of the coolest designs currently available. They've been at this for over a decade, in which time they've constantly refined their offering, and the result is the homes we're looking at today. I don't know about you, but I think these things look sweet and wouldn't be surprised if they're setting trends for other companies around the world. If if you had noticed, I'm a fan of what they got going here, so I'll be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.